Hello Capricorn. Welcome to your Money, Wealth, Prosperity, Abundance reading for the month of September 2019. My name is Desiree and I want to welcome you to my channel, Intuitive Gems. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I want to say thank you so much for choosing to spend this time with me. I also want to invite you to subscribe because I do do these readings each and every month for all of the zodiac signs and I would love to share your prosperity and money message with you. All right, Capricorn, I hope you had a good month of August. I know it has been kind of up and down for a lot of us. But I know the things are definitely settling into a rhythm as we move into September. Uh, for your reading this month, I'm going to be using my Morgan Greer tarot deck. I'm also going to be using the white tarot. And then I'm going to end your reading with a color oracle card. So let's go ahead and get right into it. What do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of September 2019. Now, if you do not know, I read jumper cards because I believe those, <clears throat> those are the cards that want to communicate with us. And those are the cards that want to be acknowledged. So what else do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of September 2019. Okay. All right, Capricorn, things are actually pretty good for you as we move into the new month of September 2019. I see we've got the Knight of Rods here, Knight of Wands, also the Eight of Wands, that's that fast moving energy. Wheel of Fortune in the upright, we also have the Six of Cups and the High Priestess. Now you are really tapped in, turned on <laughs> in the flow because I see things really moving well for you. We've got the Knight of Wands here and this is, this is someone who is very, very stable, but he's also an energy that doesn't waste time. Someone who takes action when action needs to be taken. Someone who is reliable, stable, trustworthy, responsible. All of that is definitely going to be you in that first week of September. Whatever it was that you've been waiting for as it relates to money, it comes in September and it comes in very quickly. We've got the Wheel of Fortune here. This is definitely a turn of good luck for you, Capricorn. You have Whatever you've been working on, whatever you've been, you know, hoping is going to happen, it's definitely going to strike and it's going to strike really well uh, in the beginning of September. We also have some reconnections from the past that are going to be actually happy reconnections. Now, this could be maybe um, someone that you've had a relationship before, or it could be someone that maybe you've worked with in the past, or maybe an old business partner, or maybe someone that you've really known in a professional way. That person is definitely going to be making a reappearance in your life as we move into September. Also, you've been trusting your intuition. That's very, very good. You've been listening to your gut and it has served you well. And it's going to continue to serve you well as we move into September. All right, what else do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn? As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of September 2019. What do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn? As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of September 2019. Right, Capricorn. Now I'm seeing quite a few knights around you. We've got the Knight of Rods here, Knight of Pentacles, and then we have the Knight of Swords. Now this guy I feel is all about energetic, energetic 
presence. But these two, I'm feeling, are more about actual people that will be showing up probably as you move into that second week of September. Knight of Pentacles. Now, this is someone who is definitely in tune with how to make money. Now, this could be you, Capricorn, or it could be someone that you are working with or partnering with. This is a very, very good, you know, good quality to have if it's if it's a business partner. I also see that you've been kind of stepping back a little bit. You've kind of been re-examining and you've been kind of observing things as it relates to your money and is and maybe your career. And if you're not doing that now, you will be going through a period of just observing as we move into the middle part of September. Now we have the Justice card here in reverse and this this could be several things. Now this could be maybe a decision that was not made in your favor. It could also be the timing of a decision is just not right and it doesn't work. And it could also mean like the energetic flow of a person that you're working with. It could be someone who's not necessarily doing things unfair, but they're doing things more in their favor instead of your favor, okay? So you're really going to have to examine your situation and figure out which one of those applies to you. Now we also have the Knight of Swords here, and the Knight of Swords is someone who kind of rebounds from pain, someone who has gone through a lot. You know, they've taken the hits in life. They've, uh, they've gone through some hard times and they've gone through some lessons. And they've actually learned how to turn that into a money-making profitable message in their life. Now, this could be you, Capricorn, or it could be someone that you're working with. However, um, sometimes when this shows up in the reverse, it also means that it's temporary, right? So maybe someone comes in you think they're perfect, oh, this is the solution to my problems, and then that person or that circumstance goes away. Okay, so again, you're gonna have to examine your situation and figure out how this applies, because I do see this as a temporary short-term type of situation or a, or a person that comes in and then he's out. All right, so let's get some more clarification on this for you Capricorn but you've got a really good start to September I mean I mean things are definitely things are definitely going in a positive direction I'll say it that way all right, what else do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of September 2019? Ah! All right. Okay. I'm not going to take all the cards that fell. I'm just going to focus on the ones that were upright, and then I think these two came out. Okay. All right, Capricorn. Actually, again, things are going well when it comes to money. You almost let go of something. You decided not to. That was a good move. It's going to pay off, okay? Because you're going to get some information that's going to be in it's it's going to be just in the nick of time, okay? You've got information coming in as it relates to money. And it's, it's like a deal you almost walked away from. And then you're like, oh, well, now that I've got this enlightenment, now that I've got this news, <laughs> I'm going to stick around and I'm going to make a different decision. I'm going to make a different move on that. That's what this is about. We've got the Queen of Swords here. Now, the Queen of Swords is someone, sometimes she has a very stingy energy. You know, and that's okay. It's okay to be selfish sometimes. I see you're going to have to go through that period of, of really focusing on what you want and taking care of yourself first. This happens probably in the second half of September. You're really going to be honing in and taking care of your own, whether that be you, your family, the people that matter to you. You're really going to have that guarded energy. You're really going to have that... Um, 
that uh, that feeling that you just need to cut away the unnecessary and focus on what's yours. Now we have the lover's card here. So this is an excellent partnership as it relates to business. It could also be harmony. Maybe things are just harmonious at home. And so that's affecting other areas of your life. And it's allowing you to be in that money flow. It's allowing you to attract more money because you have a really good support system. You have a lot of people on your side who are rooting for you. Now, we also have the Knight of Cups here. Now, the Knight of Cups is in reverse. So this tells me that sometimes your emotions can get in the way of your work. You know, that could be a bad thing. It could not be a bad thing. It just depends on where you are and where what exactly it is you're doing and how you're uh, letting, letting your emotions affect you. So that may just be something that you want to be careful about because it does affect your money flow in some ways. However, it's only temporary as I see with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here and we also have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Now, this card is all about luxury. This is one of my favorite cards in the deck because it's just, it talks about really being in a place of financial contentment. And because she's in the reverse, that tells me that you're not there yet, but that this is coming because I never see this as a negative card whenever it shows up in the reading. This is my favorite card, like I said. So whenever I see her, that tells me you're either in the period of financial contentment or financial contentment is definitely on the way. You're going to be very happy with the fruits of your labor. You're going to be very, very um, satisfied with the things that you've done and, and the progress that you've made and the things that you've built. Okay, so that's definitely coming. It's going to be slow. It may take a little while, but it is on the way. All right, what else do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of September 2019. Wow. Let me make sure are we in frame. Looks like it. All right, Capricorn. Celebrations are coming. You're going to have a lot to be happy and excited about. Now, I have a feeling this could be a marriage because it fell onto this lover's card. It could also just be a celebration of a brand new partnership if it's a business. Maybe, you know, you um, you partner with somebody and it works and it's great and it's profitable. But I do see a new union of some sort coming together and there's going to be a lot of celebrating. Now, we also have the Fool here. This is someone starting a brand new journey. Also, sometimes the Fool could mean someone who's a little overly excited, a little bit naive. And I'm thinking that could be the situation here, more of about uh, an emotional state. You know, you're, you're a little bit too overly anxious. You're a little bit too overly excited and a little bit naive when it comes to, you know, how things are flowing with your money. This happens towards the end of the month, so basically giving you a heads up. We have the hangman here too. Now you're gonna be making some type of a decision, almost a, de a decision where you're gonna feel, it's almost like you have either two very, 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 very good choices, or you have two choices that are just not that great, but you're gonna have to be called to make a decision towards the end of the month as it relates to money, business, finances, and prosperity, wealth, abundance, all that stuff. I want one more card for you, Capricorn. What else do we need to know? Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so here we go with your emotions again. The King of Cups, again, overly emotional. Someone who is really, really uh, too attached to the situation, okay? This could be good. But sometimes it could be a little bit much. You might want to, you know, rein it in just a tiny bit because your emotions are definitely going to be overwhelming at times. But I think this is something you know about yourself, Capricorn. So I don't, I'm feeling like this is not news. It's just something that um, sometimes can hold you back from where you want to be and what you want to do. So as we look at the month, you've got a great start. 
to the beginning of September. You also have some people stepping in, you know, helping you out. You're going to be observing a lot as things move. I'm feeling like I'm feeling like you're going to be watching. You're going to be watching um, things happen. And I, I just got that message right now. You're really going to be watching things. So you could be observing a lot towards the middle of September. You also are going to get some new information that kind of makes you reevaluate some decisions. And also a celebration is coming. That's something very exciting. You definitely have the support of a wonderful partner and that it really helps you to flourish in your business and in your career and in your money flow. And just be careful not to get too overly emotional and too, you know, over anxious about certain things, you know, especially as it relates to your money. Just be really, really solid in your decisions and take your time. There's no rush. All right, Capricorn, let's go ahead and end your reading with a color oracle card. And we got blue. This is activate your healing power. I think this is a really good card because I feel like this applies more towards the end of September. You know when you're kind of going through this emotional emotional waves here, sometimes we need to have emotional stability and emotional healing and emotional balance. And I feel like that's really going to come into play here as you move throughout the month of September, Capricorn. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or observations, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. And that's it for now. Again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch Capricorn. I'll see you again soon.